it's Richard Dower here, uh, Yamaha brand ambassador for Rivers Music in Edinburgh. Uh, some of you may know that I was lucky enough to be part of the contents team um, in Japan that helped to put these amazing instruments together. Um, and that's why I'm so passionate about helping you to get the most out of these instruments. Um, my background at Yamaha goes back to basically late 90s and being involved with things like PSR 9000 uh, and then into the Tyros uh, workstation arranger keyboards, all of the PSR keyboards in the meanwhile uh, and then of course Genos and, and all of the CVP Clavinovas. So it's been my passion to make these as good as possible but also then to pass on that knowledge and that um, enthusiasm to help you get as much as you can out of your instrument at home. Today we're going to look at updating the firmware on the instrument that you have at home. Now the procedure is basically the same on everything from CVP 300 series way way back um, PSR 3000s, uh, Tyros 2 onwards into Genos and, and of course this, this magnificent um, CVP 805. We're going to pick on the 805 just simply because I have it here but this could be any of the instruments that we've just spoken about from CVP 300, uh, Tyros 2, PSR 3000 and, uh, and Genos of course. So why do we need to upgrade the firmware in our instruments? Um, the theory goes, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's true, but the firmware updates aren't just about fixing any uh, little bugs that Yamaha technicians may have found. It's also a case that sometimes the firmware updates introduce a new feature something different, uh, something that it didn't do before. It might be a case that it's ironing out a few bugs. It may even be a case that it's, it's ironing out a few bugs that you may not have even noticed, but actually will help your Clavinova or Arranger keyboard to work better, kind of in the background without you even realizing. Let's have a look at downloading the firmware for this CVP 805 Clavinova. Let's first of all go to Google and we'll type in Clavinova CVP 805 firmware. You can say firmware update of course if you wish. We're looking for the European Yamaha website but sometimes you'll see the, the USA website. That works just as well. But I generally go for the European one. So let's click on the European link to CVP 805. We want to be looking for the firmware update. And here it is. Click on the area marked on the screen to begin downloading. Now of course we're all using different computers. Um, I, I always use my, my iMac. Um, you may be using a Windows computer. So as there are so many different computers and so many different operating systems, um, the next little bit of, of the procedure will be slightly different but you should find the downloaded folder in your downloads area of your computer. Here's the folder that I downloaded onto my iMac. So let's double click on the folder And that opens up to reveal these files. Remember, of course, on a Windows machine, you may well have to extract these files 
as he'd started out life as a zip file. You'll see the instruments.prg file, that's the actual download file, but you'll also see some instructions. If you feel the need to open the English instructions, it will open as a PDF and of course you can print that out to help you along the way. At this point, drag and drop the PRG file into a USB stick. We can now safely eject that USB stick from your computer and take it over towards your Clavinova. Making sure that your Clavinova is off, insert the USB stick into the main socket on the panel. For Clavinova owners, and indeed Tyros and Genos owners, ensure that there are no other USB sticks inserted in the instrument. Once the USB stick has been inserted into the socket on your CVP Clavinova, with one finger press the start and stop button on the style section, hold it and then turn the instrument on. Keep the start and stop button pressed until you see the Yamaha logo appear on the screen. At that point you can release the start and stop button. You will then see some information on the screen telling you that your Clavinova is looking for the updated firmware program. Once that updated program has been found, it will ask you to confirm that you wish to install that onto your Clavinova. You will do so by pressing start and stop on the style section again. This starts the installation procedure. Once that's all finished, take out the USB stick from the socket, turn your instrument off, turn it back on again, and you're ready to go. As always, enjoy your music and we'll see you again soon. All the best.